lady, go, go get an ice cream or something. For you. <laughs> All right. Hi, Sarah. How are you? I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Are you a racing fan? You know what? I am, and I've got to tell you, I'm, uh, I went to college in Virginia. Oh. And it's a big, big, big deal. Oh, yeah. And rightly so. I think it's fabulous. And, you know, I told my friends I was coming on, and you were going to be on. Everybody said I have to get an autograph and a picture, so... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the stage. Do you like hidden camera pranks? <laughs> right, listen, I don't trust you like I don't trust the rest of them. I'm just waiting to be asked and I'm on to you. I'm much wiser than I was a couple months ago. You know, it's funny. Uh, in a way, you were, yeah, you were asked in, a, in kind of a huge way, weren't you, with right, Joe the, Millionaire? The Jamie Kennedy experience is, you know, how long does the gag go on? Like 20 minutes? Yeah. Imagine a month. A full month. I'm thinking month. you're going to get with Evan. Yeah. You, you, you thought I... Was going to go with Evan, or that I'm going to now? No, I just... wrong on both accords. Did you ever, Sarah, did you I ever get John during the... Uh, <laughs> I'm a little defensive. I don't trust you. Did you ever catch on during the... Uh... <laughs> well, I don't know because it all seems so realistic. I mean, if I inherited $50 million, I would definitely call Fox to get me a boyfriend. So it made perfect sense that Evan would... I got you. Yeah, you know, it didn't make a lot of sense, did it? It didn't make sense, and we knew something was up, but I thought, oh, this poor guy, he doesn't know he doesn't have $50 million. Yeah. I thought the joke was on him. Oh, really? You know, really, Melissa well, and I had figured it out. I did not know he didn't have $50 million. I mean, <laughs> how would one not know that? Right, you would think that. Yeah. But then you get to know Evan, and I'm kind of seeing how Oh, that I see what you're saying. Yeah, well, he's not a, exactly uh, like a, a CIA agent, is he? Right, I think, you can, I think that you would have a fabulous time with Evan. you got to get him on the show. <laughs> he would call really? up any singer. Really? So you did not care for Evan? I thought Evan was fabulous, and he was a gentleman the entire time we filmed. He seemed like a nice he guy. He was a really nice guy. I just, you know, I'm, I'm a little taken aback by the whole process, and I didn't know why I was there, and he knew why he was there, so he was I in see. on it. Yeah, well, yeah, but I think he, he, felt, he seemed like he felt guilty about the whole thing, didn't he? He should have. Oh, he should have, right. You, are you mad? Are you angry about it? You Not at Evan. Just a teeny bit. bit. <laughs> Do I see him here? No. <laughs> Just that smell. What about this clip? Let's look at a clip real quick of the, um, oh, I know, I the know notorious you're slurping and gulping. Oh, I know. What? I Wait, I have to keep this up. And uh, that's kind of when everything kind of kicked into a different gear. It was it started to get a little, a little more intimate. What much. was going on? It, it, were you guys making out, or what was happening? No, was... throughout the entire course of the show, I kissed Evan three times. Nothing uh -huh. more happened. I mean, you're talking about... Ever on the penis? Ah. I know. <laughs> You have to shut the bathroom door in the cameraman's face to be able to take a shower in privacy. Right. That was a setup. Like, you know, nothing happened. If anything was happening, I promise you it would have been on camera. Sarah, yeah. you're in France. You're in the boudoir. Right? It's a nice chateau. <laughs> Evan's a honk. He's like George Clooney on roids. <laughs> Did you ever at one moment just kind of want to hit it? No, you know. Well, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Being locked in a chateau with someone for a month, they get cuter as the days roll on. Is that right? However, what I What about a trailer? Because Dale's got a beautiful... Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, actually, I never knew that Evan was going to be there. We were kind of not really informed of that. So when I got there, I was shocked, and I thought he was nice. And, you know, I, I spent most of my time getting to know the other women there. And I actually had already had a ticket to go to Belgium to see someone that I was interested in. So I was a little... So you were hanging with the other girls. Right. Ooh, fascinating. And this brings me to my next... No, again, again, <laughs> if it had gone there, I promise you Fox would have aired it. Yeah. So oh, there's no dirt that Fox yeah, would have aired. I'm so sure anything happened, you, you were in eight bondage movies as well? Again, blown out of proportion. I went to law school, and afterwards I did... Um, it was a modeling job, and it was fully clothed. You know, they are the cleanest pornos I've ever seen. That's what I mean. Life. It's not... Yeah. You know, I'm telling you... really disappointing, you know, actually. If, if there were any nude pictures of me, aside from what I just did for Playboy, right. they would have come out. This was so mild, and it just ended up being sensationalized because apparently that was the biggest scandal that they could dig up about anybody. Well, let's take a look and, at, you know, at a clip of Sarah from Helpless Heroines, Volume 3. <laughs> You know, I, I don't feel like I can.
pop out of that. I would watch that instead of Madonna on Will and Grace. I swear to God, I'd watch right. it every week. Yeah, that's why when my friends, when everything happened and it came out in the tabloids, my friend called me and they're like, okay, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Like, but I'm laughing at all the pictures because it was hilarious. Your you know, feet was were very dirty on that um, video. <laughs> Apparently, that turns some people on, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that right? Dirty feet that's and duct tape. Wow. Hey. wow. Well, this seems like the perfect time to bring out our 12-year-old child prodigy. Yeah. Fabulous. I can't think of a better intro. We've got Sarah Kozer. Her uh, Playboy magazine is on the uh, newsstands now. She's on the cover, even though it's the Playmate of the Year up, uh, issue. You got on the cover. That's all right. We've got Dale Earnhardt Jr., Jamie Tenney, and we'll be right back with Children.